Hi guys and welcome to another video from Total Technic. Today we're having a quick look at the Audi RS6, the C5, uh, with its engine removed. Now this might be quite useful for you uh, if you're doing some work on your engine or your gearbox. This might allow you to see a couple of uh, things that you wouldn't otherwise be able to see with the engine in situ. might help you out a little bit. And likewise, if you're just a bit of a car geek, uh, likes looking at this kind of thing, uh, this is bound to be interesting for you as well. So let's take a look. So as you can see, when the engine's actually uh, removed, uh, there's not a, a heck of a lot left uh, in the engine bay, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, it's quite a big job getting the engine out. I've actually just filmed a um, uh, the complete engine removal for this car, the Audi RS6. Um, so we'll add a link for you uh, below this video on YouTube in the information section. Uh, so if you're interested or you need to do a full engine removal on your car, be sure to check that video out. That's bound to help you. So what we'll do uh, in just a few seconds, we'll have a little bit of a kind of a guided tour. And like I said, hopefully this will be a, a good kind of useful reference for uh, for some people. Uh, so let's look in more detail. So in the rear corner, uh, that's the uh, waterproof box uh, that houses the ECU. And at the rear there you can see the um, electrical connections uh, that leads back inside the, uh, inside the vehicle. Uh, so that's your main ECU. Uh, you've got your aircon um, uh, inlets and outlets here. And obviously you've got your, uh, your brake servo here. Uh, looking around, this is your secondary air pump uh, down here. Uh, slightly different to uh, what you might see on uh, other Audi models. And um, got your aircon uh, canister here. Uh, the intercooler normally uh, sits up in front of here. They were removed as part of the engine uh, removal process. Uh, so obviously those have gone as well. Uh, across the back of the bulkhead here, um, there's a, a bracket that sits here with electrical connections on. That's what these are for. Uh, these are for uh, various coolant hoses. Those need to be uh, disconnected for the engine removal as well. Uh, there's another bracket for uh, electrical connections and bits and bobs there as well. Uh, this is where the ABS... Uh, module was just in here the ABS pump uh, you don't have to remove that for the uh, for the engine removal by the way that's just some other work that we were doing on this particular car and obviously the things that you can see from the top power steering uh, wiper fluid uh, you see there's not a lot of pipe work left uh, when this engine's out it's actually quite surprising uh, now looking down towards the subframe this these are the mounts here uh, where the engine mounts uh, sit that's that's these, these ones right here and if you follow the subframe back I uh, highlight it with the torch just at the back, just there. Uh, that's actually where the gearbox uh, mount sits. So you have mounts for the gearbox uh, and the engine. Uh, they're separate uh, on this. Now you see they're probably 18 inches, maybe two feet apart, distance between the two. So that's where uh, those sit as well. Um, so, uh, I mean, there's, like I said, there's not a lot more, not a lot more to, to see here, to be honest. Uh, but like I said, hopefully this will be a bit of a, a useful reference for you. And you can kind of, there's a load of electrical connections down there at the at the back as well. Uh, quite an unusual uh, array of connections there. If you're used to working on slightly more uh, modern Audis, you'll be looking at that going, what the hell is that? Uh, that's a, a lot of the uh, electrical connections, all of which uh, are removed to get the um, uh, the main uh, engine harness, uh, electrical harness out. So all that has to be done as well. Uh, so that's it. Like I said, I hope it's useful for some of you guys. I hope it's interesting for uh, for other guys. And uh, be sure to check out the uh, the full RS6 uh, engine removal video. Uh, if you are intending on removing the engine uh, or the gearbox, the gearbox has to come out with the engine. Um, on on one of these cars, you know that that video hopefully will be an absolute necessity for you. So we'll add that link for you below. Be sure to go and check that out, and we'll see you on the next video.